Time to throw it way back to another time in Pittsburgh with a look at what was making headlines in the KDKA pit parade. This week, we're going back to 1954, starting with Troubles in the River. It's the pit parade, the picture story of the Pittsburgh scene from the KDKA TV archives. We were waterlogged this week in April 1954, trapped by a riverboat accident on the Monongahela River. Pit Parade cameras took our viewers right to the scene, an old sternwheeler hauling steel up and down the Ohio and Mississippi rivers rammed one of its own barges and ripped a hole in its hull. The barge sank along with the load of steel that it was hauling, and now the sternwheeler itself was in danger of going down. Five boats came to the rescue. They worked around the clock for hours unloading the sternwheeler's fuel tanks and working on a rescue plan. Finally, they hit on one by passing cables under the riverboat's bottom and then carrying it to safety. Meanwhile, a water tank of sorts was in the works for the Duquesne Wharf City engineers who were conducting tests to help them design a fountain for Point State Park. They needed to build equipment that could raise a column of water more than 100 feet high. A city fireboat helped to simulate the fountain of the future. When the fountain was built, 6,000 gallons of water would eventually race through it every single minute. A singing star known for racing with the moon raced over to Pitt's campus this week to help select a beauty queen. That's band leader Vaughn Monroe and the 19 nominees for Pitt's Spring Festival Queen. Vaughn's job was to pick the top five finalists. Groups of ladies found their way to Forbes Field this week for the first Ladies' Day game in the Pirates' new game season. These fans got in for free and got to watch the Bucks beat the New York Giants 7-4. to It was Ladies' First this week in April 1954. Saying cheerio on video, I'm John Burnett for the Pit Parade. Always so fun to see those. Well, we want to thank editor John Kirsch for putting together these pit parade features for us. Today is John's last day here at KDKA. He's retiring after 35 years as both photographer and editor. John helped create the original pit parade features that aired on KDKA TV News, and we are grateful that he could help us bring them back. They also are you know, gems, as you've seen, and so is he. Our best wishes to John in his retirement.